All right, what's up everyone? Potato Pie 25 here, and today it's gonna be a little bit of a different and shorter video. So today I'm gonna be explaining to you guys the science behind winning survival games, because I've boiled it down to a science where you should be able to win like 90% of the time if you actually follow these steps. Just so you guys know that I'm not some random trying to tell you how to play survival games, here's my authority on the subject. My peak rank this season, or this month specifically, was number 9 on the leaderboards. I'm now ranked number 193 at the time of recording this video. This season, I've got a 63% win rate, so you could say that I'm fairly good at survival games on the hive. So, first off, I'd like to say that survival games is a mode kind of for the more hardcore players if you're on a phone you're not like decent or you're not decent at pvp you may have a very difficult time in survival games but i think these tips nonetheless can help even phone players win survival games and they can just help everyone get better at survival games and better their chances of winning so let's go ahead and get into it all right so first starting off you essentially just want to go for a chest and i just got really lucky and got a diamond sword out of spawn so Nonetheless, I almost always only go for one chest and then just kind of dip from mid, and then I just basically go loot. You don't want to stay in mid, because unless you're like insane at PvP and maneuver maneuvering and movement and stuff like that, you're just going to get cleaned up. Someone else is just going to come run in the mid after you've killed everyone, if that's what you're trying to do. You don't necessarily want to go for kills, because to win survival games, honestly, you really don't get that many kills. I'll say that right off the start. So. One step, one tip that I like to give people is to never hold out your best weapon. You always want to hold out the lesser weapon and just kind of hide it for people. So, I'm going to try booping that guy into him. And the basis of survival games and how you just win battle royale games in general is that you clean up fights. You should really never be the one to initiate fights. I'm also going to try and cut this guy off because he's trying to run. He is now dead. And that's kind of how a standard fight should go. You should always be kind of the one coming in at the latter end of the fight. You really shouldn't be trying to start fights. However, if you are the first or second person in the fight, you really should try and go find a third party to try and get the person that's chasing you, the person that's fighting you, to try to get them to attack the other person. And then you try and clean up the fight after it's all over. However, I'm gonna play this game like I don't have a diamond sword to start off with, just because it's gonna be it's gonna be a way better example, I feel like. There's a cow right here, always memorize cow locations, they spawn they can only spawn in certain places the entire time. I got that guy right there because he wasn't paying attention. That guy had a diamond helmet, we will take that gladly. And now my gear's pretty good. I think there was a guy below me. Basically you always want to keep tabs on where people are as well. That's definitely a good strat. Alright, so explaining a little bit more of the science and the probability of survival games. So, there are three things that basically help you win survival games in terms of gear that you can get. You want a diamond sword just because of the amount of raw damage that it does to people. You also want a bow because of the ranged aspect of it and because bows are actually broken on the hive. Um, they do so much damage, like see, that does so much damage to this guy right here. I don't even care, this guy doesn't seem to have a weapon. So is that GG, I guess? Yeah, that is. Very cool. Alright, and then also the final thing that you want is diamond helmet and boots, just because of the armor value they provide. They provide, I believe, one and a half armor bars each, which totals to three. There's also a drop right here, and drops are your best friend. They can get you diamond leggings and pants sometimes. They can also drop gap golden apples, and uh, they can also drop diamond swords. Realistically, it's just something that you want to find, and if you saw a couple seconds ago, you saw the lightning there. That signifies where it's dropping. The lightning can be seen from about half, half the map away, so that helps you find where it is. Another tip to help you out is look at the kill feed and see if you recognize people getting a bunch of kills. Like this Gal V Void guy, he's gotten three kills so far, so he might be someone who has actually fairly good gear, has a good weapon, or just good at PvP in general. And uh, yeah, that just kind of helps. I also realized that I didn't finish explaining my kind of science and probability of survival games. So basically, those three things, sword, bow, and diamond uh, pieces, those are what win you games. If you have two of the three of those, you should win most games that you play. For example, if you have a sword and a bow, 
you can just try and bow people down and finish them off with your diamond sword. If you have armor and a bow, realistically you can just spam people down. They don't even have to get close to you, you can just spam people down with arrows and then go clean them up with your like iron sword or stone sword or whatever afterwards. But realistically heading also into deathmatch, you want to be able you want to have an iron sword. That that should be like the minimum barrier to entry of a deathmatch. You aren't gonna win if you don't have one. Also, if you have a sword and armor, you can really just go in and tank. And if you have all three, like I do here, I shouldn't lose this game at all. So with four, four people alive in deathmatch, you almost want to hide a bit and just try and kind of let other people fight it out and see where you can kind of take fights. Everyone's kind of hiding right now, so I'm going to try and get a couple bow pot shots on this guy right here. This guy's a diamond sword, so i got to be careful. I'm, I've also got to be careful not to get cleaned up here. And he is not able to get a hit on me. And now it's just a 1v1 now. So this guy has okay-ish gear, but it's not the best. And now I'm just going to kind of focus on bowing him down a bit. I'm also going to crouch so he doesn't know exactly where I am. He saw me, but he was really low from his fight beforehand. So I was able to finish it off with the bow. So I realized this was a little bit of a short video. I'm just trying to get videos out for my vacation, honestly, because I am at a lake right now while you're watching this. So I'm not actually home. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know if you guys want more in-depth tips about survival games because, I mean, I, those are kind of like the main tips that I kind of know of, but I can still try and do maybe a bigger Crash Course video once I have more time to be able to do like a bigger video. This was kind of a short uh, placeholder video, I would guess you would say. And I really don't like doing those on my channel, but I just need content, man. So that's where we're at right now. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.